Let me show you how you can build a website and stop using the cart page in your WooCommerce store. So that's what I actually did when I rebuilt my website here. So this has a WooCommerce component and you can see that we have a cart icon in the header. And we also have the floating cart down here. If we click this one in the header, it slides out a cart from the side. And if I go back and I click the floating cart, it does the same thing. Now this is very easy to set up. I've actually just installed this plugin that I'm about to show you how to set up. I haven't customized anything inside this plugin. And there's more features that I'm gonna go through in today's video that you probably wanna activate and that I will activate when I get a bit more time to set this up. But before I show you how to install this plugin and how to configure it, I first just wanna go through the benefits of using a slide out cart versus having a separate cart page in your WooCommerce store. So one obvious benefit is that you don't need to go and style or design a cart page. In my case, that was very important because here on my website, I'm using the Quickly Theme Builder. It's a quite a new theme builder to WordPress. It uses a full site editing experience but I would say it's sort of geared towards people that want a bit more control with their website and are a little bit more techy and comfortable with code. And to show you what I mean, if we go to the shop page, this is what the shop page looks like out of the box. And if we click into a product page, this is what that looks like. Even the add to cart button doesn't look like a button. The reason that this is like this is because quickly DQs or gets rid of all the CSS files and JavaScript files that WooCommerce loads. So the pros of that is that our website loads super fast. It's very lean, but the sort of downside of that is that as somebody building our websites, we need to put in a little bit more time to build it up and design this how we want. But in my case, I was using Quickly and I didn't really want to go ahead and build an entire cart page. So this worked really well in my favor because I don't have to design a cart page at all. Now, the second reason that I really like this slide out cart is how it works on a mobile device. So here, imagine this is your website with the floating cart down here. They click that, it slides out. They can adjust the quantity of products in their cart as well. So if we go to here and then go to my shop page and then I click into a product, let's just say we go down and add this to our cart that reloads and it slides across. From here, your customers have the ability to manage quantities. So we could do two of these and we might even get rid of this here. So this is much easier for your customers to manage what's in their cart versus having them go from a page on your website to a cart page, change things there, go back to your website, browse your store, add things to the cart, and then go back to your store. It just feels a little bit disjointed. This is all able to be managed from clicking this floating cart icon on any page on your website. Also, another benefit for you as somebody that's trying to optimize your website for mobile shoppers is that you don't need to go and spend time trying to add a cart icon to your header and look all nice and neat and tidy for mobile devices. By installing this plugin, it just adds this floating cart icon down here and it just works. It's just faster to set up and it just feels more intuitive for customers. Another benefit for you as a store owner to make more money is that you can sell more of your products by adding in cart upsells. So here, let's just say we have a product in our cart. I could click to add this t-shirt and this is a single product. So single WooCommerce product type. So if I click this, add to cart, it adds it in there. The hoodie is a variable product. So if I click select options, this slides across and now we can change the, the attributes here. So we could say blue logo, it shows us a preview there. And then when your customers are ready, they could click add to cart and now that's added into their cart. So that ability to add variable products from the in cart here is a really great feature with this specific plugin that I'm gonna show you today. And as you'll see in an upcoming section, you can define what upsells show here down the side based on the items that are in the cart. So if somebody adds an album into their cart, we could list related albums and related singles here. So they dynamically change based on the items in the cart. So definitely stick around to see how that works. Now behind the scenes, I've gone ahead and disabled that cart plugin. So we have no cart icon in the header and we have no floating cart icon here. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how to install the free version of this plugin, run you through the setup, and also show you why the free version could just be enough because it gives you a lot of features. Later on, I'll show you some of the bonus features that you unlock when you go over their pro version, but you'll see in this next section that the free version does give you a lot of functionality. So let's go ahead and install that plugin. To do so, we'll go to our dashboard, and then down to plugins and add new. You wanna search for funnel kit cart and install and activate this first plugin, cart for WooCommerce by funnel kit. I already have this installed and activated. And when you've done that, you'll get a new menu icon here, funnel kit. And to set the cart, we want to go down to cart. By default, it's currently disabled. So let's activate this. And then back here, if we reload our website, and now we see the floating cart icon down here, which if we click, it slides out like this. 
Now there's no cart icon in the header. I will show you how to add that. Now, as we go through the settings on the left-hand side here, they will update on the right-hand side. We're not gonna go through all the settings in this video, but the main ones that I wanna point out here that you probably wanna be aware of are as follows. Icon visibility, where do you want this to show? So do you wanna show it on your entire website, only on WooCommerce pages or none? I would just say your entire website because down here, the next setting that I wanna show you is hide cart icon. And if we hover, keeps it hidden until somebody adds an item into their cart. So if we have this enabled and I'm on my homepage and I go here and I empty my cart, by removing all the items, you can see the cart icon disappears. So if you're getting a lot of people land on something like your blog post and they read your articles and then they click to go to your shop and then they go to a product page and then they choose to add a product into their cart with an item in the cart, the cart slides out. Now we have the floating icon down there. If we go back to the homepage or go to a blog post, now that is showing down there. Me personally, I enable this, so I only show it once an item has been added to the cart because I predominantly have people coming from search engines or YouTube into a blog post and then over to a shop. Now, some other settings you have here is to enable or disable the coupon code field, enable button icon. If we turn this on, we get a checkout icon. You can also show the total cart price on the button as well. Now, the next settings that I wanna show you is under the styling. And here you can change the entire appearance here. So the button color, we could make this a nice green color if we wanted to. I'm not gonna go through all these different settings, but you basically have complete control on how this works on your website. You do have the option to change the icon. So let's go ahead and choose the shopping bag for this demonstration. And this is what it's going to look like. So with all that done, let's go up and click save. And then if we open this up, you can see it's taken on that new design. Next, let's go to cart menu. And as you can see, this is currently enabled. And based on these settings here, it should look like this in our header. Now, if we go down the bottom, we have two different ways to display this on the front end of our website. So the first one is a short code, and the second one is by appending it to the end of a WordPress menu. And if we click here, you can select the menu. Now, the way that you add this to your header will depend on the theme or page builder that you're using. So currently, if you're using a classic theme builder like GeneratePress, or one that adds its menus through appearance and menus, and you build your menus in here, see how this says main menu? If I select main menu down here, on the front end of my website, it will add this to the end of that main menu. Now, the reason that it's not outputting here on my website is because I'm not using a classic theme. I'm using a full site editor, so one of the uh, newer WordPress themes, which is quickly. So to add this into my header, or if you wanna do this using a full site editor, you're gonna to need to use the short code method. So to do that, I'll go up here and edit template. And then here in my header template part, if we go and have a look, I just wanna add that after my nav. So here, let's go and insert a div. And then inside here, we will insert a paragraph. Then back here, I'm going to copy the short code. And then here in the paragraph, I will paste that short code. And if we open up this nav, there's the nav items. We should be able to drag that into there. So now it's sitting in our nav next to it. So if we save this and save and then reload, now it's added on the end over here. Now that's as far as I'm gonna go with styling this in the header for today's video, because it's really just gonna come down to how I want this to appear on my website and how you wanna appear it on yours. But that's how you output it here in your header. In this particular case, the way that quickly works is because it's in the nav block, on a mobile phone, if we bring that in, it claps under the hamburger there. And if we click there, it gets output at the bottom. Personally, on my website, I've chose to hide this in the mobile menu because on a mobile phone, we do have the floating icon at the bottom here. So I feel like it's not really necessary to have it on both places. But that's just personal preference and maybe you wanna do the same. So that's how easy it is to output it here on your website. So just a reminder that everything that we've looked at up until this point has been using the free version of the Funnel Kit Cart plugin. Now coming up, we've done the cart menu, we've done styling, and we've done the cart settings. Let's go to upsells. And this is where we start to get prompted to go into the paid version. Now let's look at the paid version of the plugin, how much that costs, how you go and actually get access to it, and some of the features that you get, and basically why you might want to upgrade to it. On the Funnel Kit Cart website, if we go down, there's four different plans here. The Funnel Kit Cart plugin that we've been looking at in today's video does not have an actual pro version of it. To get access to those features, you need to purchase the Plus plan, which if we go down here, has the slide cart 
and then the cart upsells, free shipping reward, and free gift incentive, which I'm going to show you in just a second. But you need to get from this plan and up. And this gives you access to not just the pro features inside the Funnel Kit Cart plugin, but you get access to their funnel builder. So you can build entire sales funnels with one-click upsells and downsells. You can customize your WooCommerce checkout page using your favorite page builder. You can customize your thank you page. You can have order bumps, which are one-click upsells on your WooCommerce checkout form. And a lot of other cool features, which I've covered in a lot of videos here on my channel. I'll leave links to those videos in the description below. So don't think of your upgrading to the Funnel Kit Cart Pro version to unlock the cart features. Think of it that you're buying into a suite of plugins that are going to help you as a WooCommerce store owner make more profit with your store, which is everything that I just touched on. So knowing that, I'm going to go to Plugins, Installed Plugins, and I'm going to activate the Pro version of the Funnel Kit Funnel Builder plugin. So I'll click Activate. And now if I go down to Funnel Kit and Cart, I have access to upsells and I have access to rewards. Let's go to upsells and I'll zoom out. And this is currently enabled and you can pick a style here. So number three has them going vertically. You can do style one where it's a carousel here. Style two, it's a two product carousel. There's third, fourth is under and fifth is there. Now the different types of products that you can recommend, it says both or upsell or cross sell. And if we go down to the WordPress pennant and I just expand that and we add an upsell, and let's say for the pennant, we add the cap and add that and add. And then for the cross sell, we add a t-shirt and add and add. So for this product, we're upselling the cap and we're cross selling the t-shirt. If we go into our products and then all products and open up that product here under linked products, you can see the upsell is a cap and the cross sell is a t-shirt. So I just wanted to bridge that gap between this interface here and what it was doing behind the scenes to your WooCommerce products. Now you can also have default upsells up here. So if I go ahead and remove these default upsells and we go to the product page and we add that product into our cart, it slides out and now we see the upsell for the cap and for the t-shirt, which back here was for the cap and for the t-shirt. We can also set default upsells so I could do a belt and have this selected to always show the default upsells. Now you can see we have the belt, the cap and the t-shirt. Belts to default, then we have the cap and t-shirt, which are product specific upsells based on the item added into the cart. So this is a great way to show targeted product upsells to your customer based on the items they add into their cart. Another way to go and increase your average order value is here under the rewards feature unlocked with the pro version. Let's go ahead and click create reward and you can select to create three different types of rewards. So free shipping, discount and free gift. So we could say that we want to give a discount. Here we'll say welcome. The amount to get reward, they need to spend $100. And when they do that, we'll apply our welcome five coupon code, which gives them 5% off their order. Let's create another reward. And this could be for free shipping. And here we need to configure after what amount they get the free shipping applied. So when we click this, this will take us to the same place as WooCommerce and settings and then shipping. And here we just need to specify our free shipping. So I'll go add shipping zone and I'll call this Australia. And I'll search for Australia here and I'll add a shipping method and we'll do free shipping. And then I'll specify that they need to spend a minimum order amount and they need to spend maybe $150. And then I'll click save changes. So now behind the scenes, when the customer is building up their order value, once they get to $150, it will apply that free shipping at $150. Now coming down, we'll create our last type of, re of reward, which is going to be a free gift. So here I'll call this free gift. And here they need to spend $180 and we'll give them the beanie for free. And once they do all of that, we'll show them a message. You have unlocked all your rewards. So I'll go up and save. Now back on our website, if I go ahead and add a product into the cart, cart slides out. We get the upsell for the belt, which is the default product to be upsold. And then here we have this status bar and it says, add items worth $85 or more to get 10% off. And we actually gave a 5% off and that's because I forgot to update this label there. So I'll click save. Now if we reload, add items worth $85 to get 5% off. And if we hover here, it says welcome, which is the icon title. We could actually say welcome discount and click save. So when we hover, that makes a little bit more sense. So spend $85 to get 5% off welcome discount. So if we go to our shop, and let's say we add the cap. Now we need to spend $69. And let's say we add the beanie. And maybe as a family, we're going to the snow. So we actually need to get five of these logos. 
So now we've reached this first threshold and that has unlocked our welcome discount, which applied the welcome five coupon code, took 5% off the order. And now it tells our customer to add $29 worth of product to their cart to unlock free shipping. And if we hover, it says free shipping. So we could go ahead and add an album, maybe another one. Now we've unlocked that. So shipping would be free at checkout. And now we can unlock a free gift if we spend an extra $29. So if we go down and add a, another beanie with a logo, grandma's coming now. Now grandpa's coming. And now we've also unlocked the free gift, which was a beanie, which was $0 added into the cart. On your screen right now is a playlist for the Funnel Kit plugin where I show you how to go and use it to increase your sales in your website. I show you how to build entire sales funnels, start building your email list and actually send emails to your email list. So definitely check out that playlist.